This election and now waiting for the results has put a spotlight on the great divide in American politics. Katie Crowther talked with Democrats and Republicans from across the area on how we can try to start bridging that gap. Many Democrats and Republicans feel further apart than ever. I don't know how you can look at what, what President Trump has done in the last uh, three and a half, four years and say that he's done a bad job. You can see how he's handled these past four years and then you still don't, how does it not click that there is an issue? So where do we go from here? How's it going to be solved? I don't know. I'm just, I'm in a really uneasy place right now. Emotionally, I am tired. Adesia Smith, a small business owner and mother of two, puts into words what so many black and Hispanic voters are feeling right now. We are so divided as a nation and that we um, have so many people that supports the negativity. As a Republican voter, Andy Nunnemaker says he too is feeling uneasy. I've been alienated by a lot of my friends in the black community and the LGBT community because of the emotion and the just the charged up, pent up frustration that people are feeling. I don't know where this happened, where all of a sudden uh, people think Republicans are bad and evil and they're, they're anti-gay and they're racist and all these things. I just don't know how to change that mentality for anyone else. My hope is that we will have a leader in place that will help try to unify us as a nation. While Democrats and Republicans may never see things the same, most can agree that finding some common ground is overdue. We can get so much further as a people if we come together instead of keep standing on separate lines all the time. We can come together and we can have civil discussions, right? And, and at the end of the day, we're going to disagree on things, but, but we can do it civilly and we can do it with compassion and an understanding of, of where everyone's coming from. Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.